So let's do the same thing with this one. Actually, we need to run a loop slice up through there. So let's do that. Loop slice. That'll do that. Let's go back into vert mode. Let's select this vert. This vert. R key to scale. Let's scale them up. Spacebar to drop it. Shift select them to R key. Let's scale out like this. Now you can see we're getting our round holes. Okay. So let's run a loop slice this way. And let's go to vert mode. Grab this vert. This vert. Let's go over here. Grab this vert. This vert. R. And let's scale these up. Like so. Now we can grab this, these two and do the same thing. Hit the R key, scale them. Oops. Don't look like that. Worked too well, did it? So, what we're going to do is deselect these, hit the R key, scale these out, like so. Let's select these now. Hit the R key, scale them out. Okay. Now let's go into polygon mode and let's select our four polygons here 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 and here X to extrude click to activate it let's extrude them up now we're gonna run a loop slice right through here we're just gonna run one and we're gonna put it up towards the top well, let's put it towards the bottom we'll leave the top rounded more like a bolt so we'll put it at about there close to the bottom and I'm gonna go around and do the same thing with these others. So I'll select the polygons, loop slice, or Alt C. It's up to you, whatever's quicker. You hit Alt C also and it works. You can see there. Let's go into sub D mode. Now you can see we have our little studs there. Now all we need to do is build the hinge for the middle. Go to basic. Let's create our same 10 sided deal there and let's click and drag this out in the middle uh, we'll make it 1.8 or let's try let's make it 2 meters by 2 meters and we can pull this out like so Okay, now we got our bolt going through the middle there of our hinge. Spacebar drop the tool. You can hit the R key and scale it a little bit. By selecting it, hitting the R key and scaling it up. If it's not quite big enough for you, you can adjust it however you see fit. So now, let's grab this face, hit the bevel tool, click to activate it. Let's bevel it out like this. Let's shift click and bring it up, shift click, bring it out, shift click, bring it out, spacebar drop the tool. So now, let's go in here, let's run a loop slice right through here. A count of two, mode symmetry, like so, and we'll run one right through there too. Put it real close. Now we've got that in there, so let's select it. Take it into sub D mode and let's adjust it and move it back. Like so. Okay. Now we just need to do this end which isn't really much. What I can do is I can select this edge and get rid of it. Select this polygon and move it back. Select it, hit the B key to bevel it, and let's just bevel it out like this. Shift click, bring it out, shift click, bring it out, shift click. Now we have 
our middle bolt there that goes to our our uh, hinge and I don't lock that so I'm going to delete that I'm going to delete that and then I'm going to fill that in to make it a little less big or we can scale in using the edge extrude like this shift click so just hit the Z key click it then hit the R key and you should be able to scale it right in like that let's hit the Z key again and reactivate it and bring it in again and as you can see that's keeping our edges a little bit better now I can subdivide this thing and we have some great wonderful flowing geometry um, as you can see these are not inhibited by anything like they are here by the edge so now um, I can go into my reflection and show you why I was using that you can see you can use the reflection to let you know if anything is off like if I take this little vert here let's see here let's take a vert and let me indent it a little bit like that now you can see when that when that cloud goes over that spot in reflection you can see it's all warped out right you can tell that that's just not flat but when you go to advanced OpenGL you can't tell that see it looks flat it looks perfectly fine but you can see these little um, glitches in the reflection mode so now I can go through there there it is it looks like it's really messed up I can just bring this up like that now you can see our cloud is perfectly fixed again no bumps it's perfectly smooth that's why the reflection mode is good so let's go to geometry and let's freeze this sucker now you have a good asset you can save it out as a hinge and you can reuse it anytime you want in any of your future models so you can add more TTL as you like. You can make these little creases go on down through here, which would be no problem. It's all up to you. So um, this was basically more bracing of your geometry. This is basically how you do a lot of bracing of your geometry. And our next episode, our next um, project, we'll get into a little bit more modeling since you know how to brace stuff up now and hold it shaped. Thanks for watching, guys.